Hello everyone, some time ago, I collected some unusual motors on my channel, for example, from a bolt and from a battery. And today I'm going to try to make a motor out of an aluminum can. You can see what happens now. But first of all, I want to remind you about the InvexLab Telegram channel. There you will find a lot of useful and interesting information from the field of modern technologies and radio electronics. The link to this channel will be in the description under the video and in the first comment. The motor is based on an aluminum can and several wooden slats, which can be replaced with plywood. At the base, I drilled two holes for the self-tapping screws that will hold the racks. I drilled a hole for self-tapping screws in the racks. Now you need to drill a hole in the jar. So that there is no beating later, the holes should be located strictly in the center. A shaft made of wire with a diameter of 3 mm passes through the hole in the jar. To prevent the jar from moving when rotating, I will fix its position on the shaft using two washers. I glued four neodymium magnets at the same distance in the center of the jar. The magnetic poles should be pointing in one direction. The rotor of the homemade motor is ready and can be installed in place. The stator will be a copper wire coil with a diameter of 0.3 millimeters. There will be approximately 200 turns in this coil. The self-made motor stator is also installed. 
I glued plastic triangles along the edge of the jar, which will close the contacts when the jar rotates. All that remains is to make a contact that will supply voltage to the coil at the right time. I made the contact from a copper wire with a diameter of 0.5 millimeters. It doesn't look very reliable, but it's enough to test a homemade motor. The homemade motor from an aluminum can is ready. Now I'll put 20 volts of constant voltage on it and see what happens in the end. The aluminum can motor works fine. The wire contact sparks and heats up, but nevertheless performs its function. This concludes this video. If you liked it, then subscribe to the InvexLab channel so that you don't miss the new video that will appear very soon. Thank you for watching and see you soon.